Breaking Trump likely to support ending ban on marijuana by Jim Hoff for thegatewaypundit.com. President Trump uh, spoke with reporters on Friday uh, before departing to the much anticipated G7 meetings in Canada this weekend. Before boarding Marine One, President Trump told reporters he is likely to support ending the ban on marijuana. The Marijuana Moment reported, I'd, uh, I really do. I support Senator Gardner. Uh, I know exactly what he's doing. We're looking at it, but I probably will end up supporting that. Yes, the bill, the uh, strengthening the 10th Amendment in Trusting States uh, Act would amend the Federal, uh, Federal Controlled Substance Act to exempt state legal marijuana activity from its provisions. I would also protect banks that work with legal cannabis business and legalize industrial hemp. Far out. Let's take a listen. Sorry about that. I really do. I support Senator Gardner. Uh, I know exactly what he's doing. We're looking at it. But I probably will end up supporting that, yes. First Lady is great. Right there. She has to, and she wanted to go. Can't fly for one month. The doctors say. But she had a big operation. That was a close to a four-hour operation. And uh, she's doing great. Right there. And you know what? She is a great First Lady. Terrible. That's a, we'll be talking to him, but that's terrible. Okay, any other questions? Uh, was one of my lawyers incredible that you can break into a lawyer's office? That's one thing I can say. And I think that was unfortunate that they broke into a lawyer's office. It's not a good practice. Well, the Democrats, this is a Democrat bill. The Democrats can end that very quickly. All they have to do is sit down with us and negotiate a real bill that allows us to keep criminals out of this country. It's very easy. You know, Schumer is a guy, he complains, but he doesn't do anything. Schumer's a guy who is an obstructor. He can't do anything, all he can do is obstruct. All they have to do is call us and we'll draw a bill that gives us great border safety and security and is fair. Because I don't like the children being separated from the parents. I don't like it. I hate it. But that's a Democrat bill that Absolutely. we're enforcing. We can change it in one day. All they have to do is come and see us. I, I can't hear your question, darling. Too much competition. Go ahead. No, you're not prepared. You. I can't believe she's not prepared. See, they're shocked, right? We'll bring it up. Yeah, we'll bring it up. I have work. I have about 15 boxes of work. I will be able to work without being bothered by phone calls where you people are writing fake stories about me and we have to respond. Now, seriously, I mean, I have a lot of work. It's on the plane, so that'll be good. Are you worried at all about the things that Rudy's saying in Israel? Is he giving you any headaches? Look, Rudy's great, but Rudy is Rudy. But Rudy is doing a very good job, actually. Abortion, doing a very good job. Abortion, though, the word, not. He said what? He said abortion, though, not I'm not going to disagree with him on that. I can't hear a word he said. Dennis no, he wasn't, but I like Dennis. A great rebounder. You know, when you think Dennis was a great rebounder and he wasn't, relatively speaking, that tall. So that tells you, you know, there's a rebounding, there's a genius for that. Dennis Rodman was a great rebounder. One thing we are thinking about, speaking of sports stars, the power to pardon is a beautiful thing. You got to get it right. You got to get the right people. I am looking at Muhammad Ali, but those are the famous people. And in 
one way it's easier and people find it fascinating, but I want to do people that are unfairly treated like an Alice where she comes out and there's something beautiful. What I'm thinking to do, you have a lot of people in the NFL in particular, but in sports leagues, they're not proud enough to stand for our national anthem. I don't like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say to them, instead of talk, it's all talk, talk, talk. We have a great country. You should stand for our national anthem. You shouldn't go in a locker room when our national anthem is played. I am going to ask all of those people to recommend to me, because that's what they're protesting, people that they think were unfairly treated by the justice system. And I understand that. And I'm going to ask them to recommend to me people that were unfairly treated, friends of theirs or people that they know about, and I'm going to take a look at those applications, and if I find, and my committee finds that they're unfairly treated, then we will pardon them or at least let them out. You know, I don't have to do that. I'm not looking to grandstand. we got enough grandstanders in this town. I'm just saying for the leagues, if they have people, if the players, if the athletes have friends of theirs or people that they know about that have been unfairly treated by the system, let me know. Well, you know, if you think about it, that's really, that becomes celebrity advocates. But they know a lot of things that we're not going to know. They've, they've seen a lot of abuse and they've seen a lot of unfairness. So if they have, how do you like that idea, David? Question about Good. the candidate. Never did anything wrong, and you know that better than anybody. I think you have a double edge. Reporters can't leak, you cannot leak classified information. At the same time, we need freedom of the press, but you cannot leak, like Hillary Clinton did, like Comey did, you cannot leak classified information. If you look at the young sailor, Saucier, I mean, he went to jail over not classified a much lower level. And it's very unfair that he goes to jail and that Comey's allowed to do it all over. It's very unfair. Thank you much. I'll see you in Canada. Well, I don't know where it is uh, that he said about the cannabis. Uh, I don't know what we were watching here. But, uh, oh well, uh, it was interesting what he was speaking about. And he's absolutely correct about everything. I agree with everything he said. Uh, but here's the uh, interesting part that he's uh, going to, he's looking at, but this is going to make uh, Jeff Sessions very, very upset because he was looking to put a lot of people in jail for, uh, you know, smoking a joint, you know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.